In this video, I will explain the system development life cycle, also known as the SDLC, which is a classic method of designing systems. So this simple diagram shows a high level view of the life cycle where the system is being built. Start with the planning phase, where the outcome of planning will feed the analysis phase and the outcome of the analysis phase, which is a set of system requirements, will fit the design phase, and the design will finally lead to implementation. And this cycle will go on anytime we need to update our system or we're going through a major rehaul coming with a new system. So let's look at each stage in detail. The first step planning phase is where we're asking the questions why are we building the system and how are we structuring the project so this phase includes the project initiation talking to different people understanding the reason for the project we also need to prepare a formal document called the system request and also we do an initial feasibility analysis the last thing people usually do is also looking at the project plan and the work plan and the staffing basically the resources requirement and do a final risk assessment, which will be presented to the steering committee. The analysis phase, on the other hand, includes answering questions who, what, where, and when for the system. And basically, this is the stage where we understand the analysis strategy, what are we doing with the system, and then we will need to have a very good understanding of the requirements for the new system. Some of the steps of this stage include preparing the use cases, the DFTs or data processes, and also the ERDs, looking at the data requirements of the system. The document at this stage is called system proposal, and again, it will be presented to the steering committee. The design phase is where we come up with a decision to either build the system, buy it, or outsource it. Some of the issues we're going to um, look at in this stage include the architecture of the system, the details of the hardware and software, and also the network requirements. And the documents will put together to form a system a specification again a steering committee has to look at this document and give us a decision. And finally, it's the implementation phase where the programming actually happens. And it includes not only the programming, but also testing of the system, installing it, then doing on, uh, ongoing support and also training for the new system. And at the end of this stage, the system development life cycle will be complete. 